Yeah, get a close up right now. This Hi, Mom. You guys have done some eccentric things on stage. This is kind of low key for you because right we now. We rock, man. We rock out with our. Wait, 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 we slide, wait, 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 wait. we slide, we move, we groove, we hit, we move, we move, we, 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 we do it. Let's show them how you pick up girls. 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 Flea, you well, were the guy who mooned a crowd once. But I was gonna, that's because I was auditioning for Annie's Fanny. He's coaching him. He's saying, look at the camera, Flea, you're on. You'll be a big star. I have the shittiest love life known to man, pretty much. Hey, I do, no, I do. <laughs> hey, I do, Sean. I mean, you got I mean, a deep I'm like, all serious. I mean, it's really awful. I mean, fuck. <laughs> you so known, man. You told him to do shit. I love yeah. you. Eric, guess what side punch any other bit? think about what Bill's been through, man. No. I want to myself. When you dress like this, and you walk into a, a bathroom at a pit stop in the Midwest, people just assume you can kick some ass. You're walking around like that in the Midwest. <laughs> I can take a piss. Excuse me. <laughs> 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 people are coming out. They want to see us. They want to witness. They want to witness the real metal. <laughs> the real metal. <laughs> right now we're on tour with the Bad Brains, and every every show we play, right when we walk on stage, like there's a lot of punk rockers, and they look up at us, and they're like, Who the f are you? And then people. In once we start playing, it's on. You know what I mean? Right on. Everybody's just on the outside. Bodies flying. People That's cause screaming. We're, That's because we're good. <laughs> Look out, Van Halen. Here comes Motley Crue. The band recently showcased their act at the Roxy Theater in Los Angeles, and the crowd loved them. The pretty look, or whatever you want to call it, it's just happened. It wasn't really planned. And that's sometimes maybe a little bit against us, but the music kind of speaks for itself. Motley Crue predicts that they're rock and roll's new fashion trendsetters. They all show up at the shows with the hair, and the... I mean, anything different is going to catch on, right? A few people cut off their hair like sex pistols and rebelled against that, and look at it caught on. Not only do we try to rehearse the shows to, to enhance the live performance, but we actually enjoy practicing like it's a live show. Music should be your life, period. You need to live it, you need to eat it, sleep it, wake up, and the only way you're ever even going to have a chance to make it in this business is if you are willing to sacrifice everything to achieve your goal. Now, whose idea was it to put the bagpipes into, into a long way to the top? George. Sorry? George. George Young. Yeah. He just said, uh, you know, there's a, a big break in there. Uh, can you play bagpipes? Why he thought of bagpipes, I'll never know. You know? And I sort of played a bit of recorder before in fraternity and other bands, you know, and I sort of knew how to blow and finger, you know, so I just... <laughs> <laughs> what else can you yeah, say? Huh? <laughs> We've always been a rock and roll band. Yeah. We, you know, like... That's always what we played, and yeah. um, that's what we always want to keep playing, is rock and roll. I read Circus Magazine when I was in sixth grade, and I thought punk rock was really cool. Just by following the Sex Pistols tour. Wow, man, that's really neat. I'd like to cut up myself and get drunk all the time. I met a man named Buzz Osborne, who is now the guitar picker for the Melvins. And uh, he turned me on to the world of punk yeah, rock. Yeah, the first punk rock I ever heard was Black Flag Damage 2. Kind of a you know hit in the face to hear something that extreme right away, yeah. but I liked it. I sold my record collection for twelve dollars to see DOA. Uh, yeah, that was a stupid mistake. I had to buy all those hard rock records over again. Hey, I think you have to be the, the youngest one in world tour history to be performing. Is it intimidating, you know, being on the road with all these older folks? No, it's not. I mean, it's, I mean, we're having fun, so. And all the bands have been super nice to us, and like we've made friends with a lot of guys. And stuff. I don't really see us as like a girl band, or like we're going out and I'm like a girl, so that's really cool. It's just more, it's more or less like we're a band that loves doing what we're doing, and we're just out here. Where did you get the name for your band, CAD? Uh, it's. It's not really a band name, it's more of a concept behind what we're all about. It stands for Children of the Anachronistic Dynasty, which is kind of like a bloodline of youth born out of sync with time, out of sync enough to where they sit back and observe rather than just take things for granted. Um, I noticed you have a lot of energy out there. You don't take much time in between songs. Do you ever get tired out? Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't get tired. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, no. <laughs> so what do you hope to get out of being here, um, auditioning at the Battle of the Bands? If you make it, 
I mean, what do you want out of this? Well, we've already accomplished our goal, pretty much, wouldn't you guys say? I'd say so. Yeah. If we, uh, if we had fun. So you guys are just here to have a good time and show them what's on the other side people. of the fence. Yeah, just uh, show them what's on the other side of the fence. Yeah, by all means.